What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove an old exhaust fan and replace it with a new one. Let's do this. Alright guys, removal and installation of an exhaust fan is very straightforward, especially with the newer houses. Even something about 15, 20 years old, most of them are plug and play. That means there's a socket up there and we just simply plug in the power supply and we're ready to go. So they're DIY friendly, anybody at home can do it themselves. What we're going to do first is remove the old one. So to remove these exhaust fans is one of two ways. You either twist it and wait for a little notch that's going to allow you to drop it down. If that's not the case, you can simply pull at it and it'll have little teeth that are holding on and we can remove it just like that. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Just turn it around, wiggle it a little bit until you get a bit of a feel of what's happening. So what we're going to do now is we're going to back off these little screws. Now these screws aren't actually screwed into the drywall itself. What they're doing is there's a little mechanism, which I'll show you guys on the new one, it's a little bit cleaner, um, and that's what allows you to hold on to the drywall or the jib rock sheet, the ceiling, whatever you guys like to call it. So we're gonna back these ones here off initially, loosen them all off. Now what I have to do is I have to look for the actual socket which I can see right here so I'll just unplug this one here and there we have it guys it's simply plug and play nice and straightforward what we're going to do now is open up the new one and I'll show you guys um, the way this locking system works it's actually a pretty smart idea so I'll remove this cardboard off it and I'll show you guys the system. So this is the new exhaust fan. Now the locking system is pretty interesting. You can see this little white tab that's on the left hand side here. We've got three of them and we can see the screws on top. Now what we need to do is when we come to install this, if you have a look on the side, we simply push it with my finger and that'll force that little tab towards the inside of the exhaust fan. So we'll do that on all of them. Now what we're going to do is that's going to allow us to push this exhaust fan up into the ceiling and then if we imagine this one here is coming hard up onto the drywall so if you imagine my finger is the drywall or the ceiling whatever you want to call it we then push the tab back in and that squeezes the two materials together so once we've got that locked in that's going to hold in place then we tighten up the screw and that'll clamp on so it's basically a clamping system but I really like it because it's a smart awesome idea to be able to push it in without the locking mechanism in the way then slide it over clamp it back on pretty straightforward pretty simple nice and easy make sure push them all in and we're ready to install this one here so hopefully this angle is a little bit better for you guys what we're going to do first and foremost plug it in it's simply a power socket up on top here so hopefully i don't need to show you guys that then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into position and then using those white tabs we just simply press them in place lift it up a little bit press it in place same thing here press it in place push a screw up that pushes it over the drywall i'll try to get a bit of a better angle actually i just really want you guys to see what's going on here so what we do is i push this up push the screw up and you can see there the plasterboard right behind it right behind that then what we do is we press that tab and that now locks in over the top. So now it's still loose at the moment. We still need to tighten up the screws. So now we just tighten up the screws until it clamps on. Now we've got it nice and secure. We can put the cover plate back on. So once that's been installed, the only thing left to do is to simply test it. Perfect. So there you have it guys, that's how to remove an old exhaust fan, replace it with a new one. Nice, simple, straightforward, get out there and give it a go. Hopefully I've helped you guys out at home. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out Too.